friends, it's Jane, and I'm just going to play with new art supplies today because I can, and it's a lot of fun. Also, I did life drawing yesterday and had an absolute blast. Actually, it's not, it's not that it's fun when you're doing it. Uh, it's just that it's really good, I don't know. Oh, doing art's always really good, right, isn't it? It's, it's not necessarily always fun because, you know, it can be a challenge. Anyway, we're going to just move uh, some of our new little things here. So we've got the new Inktopus ink glass pen. I'm definitely going to take glass dip pens to my life drawing class next week for sure. This is one that's just at a local hall and uh, life drawing just, there's usually a life drawing class wherever you are in the world. Um, this is, or you can just go and draw people in a cafe or friends if they will sit still long enough. Uh, <laughs> this is, or yourself in a mirror. Uh, this is the Paper Lyon, the paper butterfly dip pen. And this is the mermaid tail. So she is, we've had her before. They're all individually handmade. So they're all a little bit different. But that's, she sits in her little wave, resting her head. And the other two just have like little normal rests like so. Well, maybe I'll give them all a little rest for their heads. And there is a reason for uh, the pen rests. It's to keep the ink off your table. And because it's lifted a little bit, it keeps the ink on the pen and hence off the table, but ready to use for a little bit longer. But I'm going to put them off to oop, punch the camera in the face, then I'll move those to ones. <laughs> Already have ink all over my hands, as you would imagine. Hey, Zandra, hey, Babs, hey, Sharon, <gasps> Yvonne, Tonya, Emma, Jenny, Marcy, hello, hello. Now I do have prompts for March because we have finished Facey and if you remember of our group on Facebook and you're very welcome to come and join. Just lovely people having fun with uh, Art Supplies. Um, yeah, please share whatever you've done. If you've done every prompt, if you've done one prompt, if you've done no prompts at all, you can still um, encourage other people. And I didn't do all the prompts every day, but I did quite a few. I did a few. They do it because their faces, I think I just was a bit lazy and said that they were going to just fit anyway. <laughs> this is what I, just as a little wrap up for Facuary. Oh, and I printed out the lyrics for a Lana Del Rey song, that's what I've got here. Because I want to use that in something, just I love Lana Del Rey. That could be Lana right there, couldn't it? Ah. Uh, Let's work in this a little bit more then. Excuse me, your tattoo winks. I'm just going to move you across there, the three new colours. I'll show you that. We'll get to that in a second. Um, we've got layer cake happening here, oldie timey, gamblers. <laughs> Whatever will be, will be. Paint pen. This is in the musical markers. I love all the little vibrant lines, all the different colours. I think that's all we've got. Oh, so I've got a bit of extra room to move in. And rather than just leave this as one book, I think this will eventually get amalgamated into others. So we'll just wait and see. We'd, I just never know. And what have we got here? I think I used her just as, oh, 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 yum, yum, yum. Little background. Uh, this has got pigment pebble in the spray. Delish. And I've sprayed through some of the new laces, of course, as is here, as is here. I've also got journal tattoos, new washi tape. <clears throat> Just everything. Oh, yum. Oh, euphoria. I think that's what that is. This is the joyful gesso. Let's leave this one, well, this journal. Okay, so I need to move my little lovelies there. So that is the water resistant inks, the tattoo inks. So this is the three colours on the levitation page uh, paper. So the colours look a little bit different depending on the paper. Let's, in fact, 
play around with that. Um, sorry, Facebook is asking me. Just post it for goodness sake. Sometimes I think these things were sent to annoy me. Right, destroy the universe and annoy us all. As well as creating a lot of fun and uh, community involvement along the way. Anyway, whatever. Comments on social media, not welcome, Jane. Right. Now, I'm just going to grab it. Going to pop these things here. <laughs> now I was just thinking I might do a little bit of uh, watery bits and pieces. I'm going to put my little book up on a lean. Let's just see. Hey Kylie, how you going? Hey Debbie, Vaughn and Pam and Robin. Oh, love to see you all. Okay, righty, yeah, let's. Uh... Oh, let's. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. It doesn't even matter. Who who bothers? Who cares? Um... I'm always sort of interested after I've done my life book sketching just to see if any of that pops out. Uh, as we go. So you can't see a, a, a blessed thing I'm sure at the moment but uh, I'm just I'm doing an experiment an experiment I want to compare how the colors look on that thing to that thing I've got water I've just dipped this in water and I just wanted to see like this is going to create very 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 fine lines I wonder if they're um, enough for the ink to travel down. It's just a little experiment. Oh, that colour. Oh, I love being an artist. People who don't have art supplies and art. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, so that didn't travel, it wasn't enough to travel down on its own, but I'm just holding my book up and just enjoying the uh, <gasps> ombre effect. <laughs> and just the sounds of the glass pen. I had phone calls from people this morning that were annoyed with each other but weren't communicating. Uh, and I must say, it's, it's, like I want to help, I want to listen and be there. But it's quite um, uh, distressing when people are a bit distressed, isn't it? Don't know quite what to do. Okay, so these other colours have gone creeping up there, but they wouldn't go creeping down there. I find that quite awkward. A little tiny creepation. So I'm going to add a bit more of the yellow here. And see if the yellow fights back and pushes that back down. So the reason I say that is purely because um, that's just life, isn't it? We've all part of people that we love and we help where we can don't we and we listen and uh, but we do need to find refine our balance as well don't we so this is what I do just play around oh all three colors are mingling there so we're getting on that nice sorts of purples. You know how I feel about purple. I 
Isn't it curious how the ink went bam straight down the middle of the page there? And the yellow and the blue found each other to make a little green. Isn't that nice? Even though they're far away. <laughs> now, so the three colours, full sail, I, I, and of course it's that pirate vernacular, and ahoy. And the reason pirates, I think, for me, are just a thing that keeps on popping up in my work, which includes my art supplies, uh, is they're associated with mermaids. So they're just the free men of the sea, just like the mermaids are the free women of the ocean. And it's romanticised and I'm sure life wasn't as we think it was for pirates, probably pretty tough. And they might have been a bit of a murderous lot, but I like to live in a fantasy world and don't really want to know about the reality. Thank you. But the reality is that that is very nice. But I still want to do other stuff to it. So a little trick that I have, and I, I need to collect up photos of um, the inks in action and all that. So I'm just going to do this. Take a little photo as we go. Oh, the colours. The colours. That is nice. I'm going to just do it as we go as well. Because mm. it shows the individual colours and it shows how they're merging. But as you can see, see, Full Sail has a, a like a sooty, um, little breath to it. Oh, I didn't do the uh, peed on me. Uh, it has a little sooty breath to it. So it's almost, it's not actually a, a black, but it's like a lack of sooty um, depth to it. Um, that's very, very interesting. It, it's sort of a very matte sky blue. I don't know how else to describe it to you. Um, it's just a very nice colour, very useful colour. We do have more vibrant ones. Uh, so I'm going to... What on earth did I do to it? It's peed all over the carpet. No, all over the table. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab the rest of the colours. So this is Shanty, which is a clearer blue in the tattoo. So these are all the waterproof ones. We, I might put them over here. What have I got on that page? Doesn't matter. Just in case there can be some bleed through, because I'm going to be scratching with the pen and doing who knows what. So if there's something precious on the other side, then maybe I won't. You know, I just have to go easier. But I, I don't have to worry about what's on the other side. So I do what I want. Oh, rather than use the muse mister. Um, so that's our other blue. And then we've also got the new one, which is, um, holy smoke, where is she? In the navy, which is this really beautiful navy blue. So, well, I don't think I've got that in a, um, one of these yet. So I shall do that as we speak. Oh, yum. See where I've scratched in um, to the paper? Oh, there's all lovely things happening within the blue. So tattoo inks are a little, they've got a little bit of complexity to them. And uh, they're just very nice little creatures indeed. So this is in the navy, so this is an, more of an indigo, a darker blue. I might, uh, I'm just going to pour it straight into the bottle. Sorry, into my little pen. My Inky Depths water brush which of course has a mermaid tail on it. Why wouldn't you have a mermaid tail on something if you had the choice, right? <gasps> See? The mermaids are with us at all times. Right, I, so this is uh, in the navy. I'm just going to, this is the Wonder Writer. This is a labelling pen, right? In the navy. <laughs> in the navy. And uh, I'll just wash her out. I could put a little pigment bevel in. No. Uh, I'm just showing you the different colours. Now let's add water into that as well. Just 
because we can and then this will dry uh, waterproof eventually. In the thicker applications it's water resistant always with inks. Um, the only thing that's completely not is like uh, acrylics. Oh yum! I'm having a little conniption. So that is still one of the newer colours but not the newest. This is the newest. Oh, I might put all three blues there shall I? And um, I didn't leave it in its darkest form but let's also drag our little mermaid through here as well. I'm just going to drag it through that ink. It's got a little bit of water in it and while the paper is wet uh, it's going to do that marking because we're sort of scratching into the paper's surface a little bit. And uh, it's just, I love the effect. It'll dry a bit darker because we've messed with the surface of the ink. And we're heading into March. It's mythical March. I haven't put the prompts up yet, but they are coming. Zozzy! It's in high spirits today as with every day. <laughs> okay. Yum. It's just a very beautiful creature. Right. Um, and then our, the second darkest is full sail. So, um, so that was in the Navy. Uh, have I got, this is Shandy. I haven't got full sail as um, an ink in this yet. Oh, I do actually. I made it last night, didn't I? I'm just going to pop this here and then let's add a bit of water. So this is Sea Shanty, which is one of the Jolly Roger colours. So I've just got some water just so we can just turn it into a bit of a watercolour ink until it's dry. And then once it's dry, it's just not going to do that anymore. Let's let them talk. Let them mingle. Why not? They are water after all. Oh, yeah. And the one that I made last night, which has got full sail, the new one, this one, but I've also got a little bit of green pigment pebble in it. So just give that a little shake, make sure that it's um, mixed in, and let's do. So the colour will be a little altered because it's got that pigment pebble in it, but let's pop this one down as well. Uh, but it, it's going to have that shimmer in it too. And then let's add some water to it as well. Oh, yum. So it's a bit of a greener, darker blue. Do we need all the blues? Well, you might not. I do. <laughs> I need everything, but obviously because I created it, so of course. And then this might become little faces, I don't know. Should we let those two talk? Let them have a little conversation. Mm, a little mix. And you can see how matte um, these have dried down to now. Oh, yum. Got to wait for the gloss to come out of the water because everything always looks brighter when it's got the water in it or the liquid in it uh, reflecting. Now uh, I could just, so I can't really fit it on here, but the new II uh, ink is this beautiful purple. Uh, this is Bordello, so this is on the pink side. <laughs> then we have. Um, Oh, that's Bordello as well. Then we have, um, sorry, that's Yo Ho Ho. Then we have Bordello, so that was from the last release. And then we have, when we go really pink, Tattoo Pink. And then on the other side of all of this, we've got, I'm just grabbing them, uh, Tattoo Kink, which is our bruisey brownie purple. And now where does she sit? More on this side. No, this is going pinky brown. Uh, this is really here. Anyway, whatever. 
the rainbow artist is kicking in fairly solidly. That's mutiny, which is a really purple, purple, a violet. So we've got a really lovely spectrum of purples. So Tattoo Kink and the new II are the most closely related. Um, but I'll show you Tattoo Kink compared, shall I? I suppose I could use it from the brush. But I'll just pop a little bit there. Um, and a little bit of the new one here. And then we'll let them flamingo as well. So when they're in their dark form like that, you can't really tell any difference, but let me show you. Hey, Cindy, how are you going? Yes, all of these things are on the site now. So this is this really lovely bruisey purple. Oh, she's joined in the party. Actually, the best way for me to show you the colour is to let it release. See how that is more purple and the tattoo kink is more brown. I think I've got had a bit too much of the purple in my brush then. I'll just show you that again. <laughs> oh, yum. And this one releases to a bit more of a, um, a pinky purple. more vibrant and if you wanted to take it down uh, either the tattoo kink or the um, eye eye you could add a little bit of shiver me timbers which is I think was uh, timble so <laughs> if we added pimple pigment to this one it would be glimmer me timbers <laughs> or shimmer me timbers sorry shimmer me timbers um, so we could add a little bit of brown into that if we wanted to take it any of these colors uh, into a different sphere again down into the inky depths <gasps> such a beautiful brown that brown that shiver me timbers it's really nice it's a ready timbery gangplank <laughs> brown but these colors are just all nice together blue and brown are nice because brown's sort of like a dark orange really and they're complementary so in a strange way they kind of go together and well you know how I feel about purple and brown together they just always look good together they just have a solidness. So the Tattoo King's got more of that sooty um, thing that happens with the ink, um, which gives it that, it's not really a dimensionality because it's very, very matte, but anyway, it's very lovely. And then Ahoy is the new yellow, and this is Plunder. So all of the Jolly Roger colors are limited edition, um, and then the next wave of colours will come over and rather than replace the exact same colour, because I feel like everyone must have one by now, I want to do a new colour. So I'm, I, I just tinker with things all the time, right? So this is the new yellow. Ahoy, so it's, this is more of a lemon yellow and this we're going into more of a warm golden yellow. Do you need them both? Well, with yellows, yes, you do, because if you want to mix colours... <laughs> You do. Um, I, people, I always uh, say that, do you need everything? No, I don't want you to feel under pressure. I'm not putting you under any pressure. Uh, I'm just doing what I do. And uh, <laughs> if you want to join in, awesome. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just doing me. Now, I've got, what I've got here is full sale, I think, I haven't labelled it and I think this has got um, green thumb from the pebble pigments I put a bit of the green in oh I can see it here so can you see the green shimmer starting you can really start to see it as it dries oh gosh I almost don't want to touch these because they're so cool and like where the colors have bled and ombre and going into yellow, then purple, then into yellow, and then purple. 
little bit dying of gorgeousness. Now, ugh, no. Yes, let's do a mermaid. <laughs> So is there any difference between this and this? No, just aesthetically and mentally. Sometimes that's all the difference we need. Oh, I've got to show you what I did in life drawing yesterday. I used my Spectrum rainbow pencil so good I didn't end up using my um, when I went I, you know when you wake up some days you just don't wake up properly I had one of those I almost didn't go but I'm sort of in discipline mode with my life drawing if nothing else and off I, I, I went I was a little bit late I just wasn't with it and um, the, I'm so glad I went because I find it really challenging because here in my studio I control um, the temperature, the smells, the sounds, uh, everything. What I'm using, my space, the table moving, the, the things that I can't control annoy me like crazy, like the technical stuff. <laughs> but in a classroom, what can you do? Like you just, you're with other people. They're all on their journey. They're making noises. They're making smells. They're, um, oh, the green pebble pigment coming through is very happiness. Um, yeah, so it's just a really challenging thing for me personally. And I thought, oh, I'm just not going to be able to cope. But I'm so glad I went because I did cope. And see, Zorro, actually, one of the things that I have control of is Zorro. Zoz! Zuzu! Oh, yum! <gasps> the green. She's there. I wonder if I might do that there for the eye too and get that lighter. Um, yeah, and my the draw the life drawing I got is not normal life drawing. Usually, it's classical music or dead quiet, if anything. And um, there's no talking, no instruction. But this, where I live, is a very eclectic area. Lots of characters, people, feathers in the hair, the whole just all the magic. And people are painting with everything you can imagine. Um, just, it's dynamic drawing. It's really, really cool. It's just not normal life drawing, which I liked as well, just whatever. Um, and, oh, yeah, there's just a lot going on. And it's really good for me, I think, to have all those distractions. And there are lovely people there that are very fun to talk to. Um, but, um, and even that's a distraction, you know. So I'm really trying to stick to it, not go wandering around, not frit fritter off um, or talk too much when I could be drawing. And it's quite funny. Because all that is procrastinating. So I can spot it in other people, I can spot it in myself. I know when I teach, you know, I've got to keep a little eye on people that are wandering around too much and talking, uh, just to make sure that, yes, they're having fun and enjoying themselves, but they're not distracting other people who are really trying to get on with their art. And I also know they're procrastinating and they're just not f fully engaging in what it is. So it's, it's good. Why did I start telling you about that though? Oh, anyway, so one of the things that I use to help get me in there, I have found is that if I'm holding my phone with one hand trying to film and draw, it's, that is adds a whole other level of complexity and you have to concentrate on what it is. So it just zooms me straight into whatever I'm doing. I use it here when at, in the studio um, and then I can use those videos in... Um, 
uh, you know, like for the reels and stuff on Instagram, but most of them when I'm taking them are with one hand, you know, luckily there's a stabiliser on the phones and I'm, you know, filming myself drawing. It's really quite hard. I'm sure if any of you have tried it. So this is the new, is this the new I, I, I think so, looks like it. So this is II in here with um, Pebble Pigment, one of the new colours, I think a couple of the new ones. Uh, so anyway, they're little tricks, but how glorious is that pen? So I think I might go, but I have to do small work in a smaller journal. And um, yes, I don't know what Zozzy's popping off about. Zoz! Ugh. It's like you're at life drawing, shut up. Um, yes, so anyway, I'm fingered going along. Right, let's give her a little lash line in this as a contrast. I can add that definition back in there. <gasps> Love. Oh, okay, now. Uh, so yes, we've got Mythical March about to kick off. Uh, that's why we've also got the birth of Venus uh, happening and I've got, we've got goddesses from all sorts of ancient um, religions and I think they call them a cult but I don't know why sometimes ancient, more ancient religions are called a cult I think it's so they don't seem as um, I don't know why controversial or something I don't know uh, but I just find them very interesting and I love the involvement of different uh, religions um, yeah, because it's got our history involved in it as well, hasn't it? As human beings. Oh, honestly, I don't know who Poppy, who's two kilos, if you don't mind, two kilos of ferocious protector. But if Zorro could get at those leaves that he's barking at, gosh, he'd give them what for? And do you know what else I've got happening in my life? Um, I've got, there's a garden orb weaving spider. She's about that big. She's pretty meaty, but she makes her web and she's sort of like a light tan, sort of a bit like Shiver Me Timbers. <laughs> she's got a bit of I I or Yo Ho Ho in her little leg crevices and so when she's in her web she's actually got like a coppery reddy purple color in between and she sits in her web and she makes her web and then brings it down every day like every evening she puts it up and then I, I watch out for her anyway the other day I saved I've got um, I'm growing some herbs and I've got blooming grasshoppers in there so I caught a whole bunch of them in a jar and then I had them there to try and get in her web to give her a little snack and uh, oh my gosh I messed her web up I felt terrible there was a frog there looking at her I thought the frog was now going to be able to get her and anyway my little Charlotte's web I don't want her to come anywhere near me I don't want her to crawl on me or anything like that I don't want to walk into her web but I can see her on the web and um, oh, I hope she makes it through to get her little babies happening if there's a man brave enough to come and sit in the web with her but he's got to the little man he's much smaller he'll have to come along and play some music on her web so that she knows it's not a insect it's a little suitor someone's coming to court her and then if she likes his music then she'll do the business and she can have her little eglets Angus does not feel the same way about her she kind of grosses him out but 
I am I'm, I'm down. I don't mind if I know where they are. In my car, on the, su on the windscreen, no. In the garden, not a problem. Um, oh, Kylie wears noise cancelling headphones. I'm just going to have to shut the door because the dog's being idiots. Hang on a second. Guys? They're idiots. They're my idiots. Oh, there's a cow out there. So, you know, they've got to tell the 50-ton cow uh, what to do. And I've never even seen the cow ever acknowledge the idiocy of the Chihuahua and the Pomeranian, who are so valiantly expressing their opinions. The cow's just like, not a... Uh, are you... A leaf or an animal? I don't know. Okay, now her eyes need a little bit of help. Mind you, she's, something's going on here. Maybe this is one of our first goddesses. Oh, okay, I'll just, we'll just leave it and see what happens. But I'm liking these little swoopity swoopoos, so let's just carry on. Uh, so I don't think I'll use the yellow for her details because it won't stand out. So... I think I might continue on with this. I could do a mix because that is a very nice colour. So I might do that then. Um, and this has got the shimmer in it as well. I probably don't need that. What can I mix them on here? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, here. This is the sofa sponge. I'll just take the sponges off it. Very, very uh, handy little thing to have in the studio. Now, just always with a palette, just do a little dust check. I'm going to put a little bit of a hoy and just a little bit of eye eye, just a smidge, just to make it a bit darker. And let them. So mix a lot and it's not yellow oh that's gone into the most gorgeous brown mm. but I want a bit more yellow on it so I'm just going to drop that yellow on there oh let's see what we get oh, that's very experimental right and now I've got to go oh, because I've got to go in a few seconds Yeah, so we've got all sorts of different goddesses doing different things uh, in, our, in the prompts and they're going to be fun. But, um, yes, I've tried to use religions that are ancient. Well, they're usually the ones with the goddesses and... I can't, I'm having trouble working out if some of them are actually still living religions or not. Uh, some of the African ones, so I just have to do a little bit more research. I'm not quite there yet because I don't want to use a living religion and one of the prompts has, you know, a goddess doing something that might be offensive to people that still believe, you know, uh, in, in that. So I'm just... Uh, doing my little bit more research which you know I love so that's all right but we should have those and if there's any doubt I'll just have to leave them out even though there's some really cool goddesses around Yes, I'm getting yellows and the purple that I put in there is making that purpley brown, that really um, darker brown and it's really making a very nice colour. I'm going to have to go because Zora is driving me crazy. Sorry. And I can't keep yelling out, Zozzy! Even though I do, sorry. Oh, excuse me, Zoz! Poo poo! Like that's going to do anything at all. Oh, it has. What's happened? 
Maybe I should go and chase off whatever he's barking at. Anyway, glass pens are divine. So even though I don't, I'm not dipping it into a big thing of ink, that's okay. I can drop the ink onto it like you saw. I can roll, do a roly-poly. As long as I get enough ink on there, this is the joy of a glass dip pen. And then just give it a swirl just to help spread the ink up into all those little rivulets. And we've got some lovely little joyful moments happening. I've added a bit of this colour. Honestly, one of my favourite sounds is listening to those little dogs when they're running and growling and it sounds, I have had a teddy bear as a kid that sounded just like that. And it's like the teddy bear thinks it's doing something. What? Your, your job is to be cuddled. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> so this one here is having a bad day. Something's gone on. She's calm. Maybe this is three phases of the day. She woke up like this. And then something happened and she went like that. And then she decided she didn't care. And life was, there were other things that were more important. She had a cup of tea and listened to the dogs being idiots. Did some art. <laughs> and then just felt good. <laughs> There's a lesson there for us all, I'm sure. Yes, yeah, so I want which, which part of the process. I think that was before I started the video. Yeah, now I'm, I'm, I'm into this. <sighs> okay, now, this little bit of ink, that is not enough for me to just leave. And, oh, shivers, I've got to go. Um, that's not enough for me to just leave. That'll dry out. And because this is a waterproof ink, I won't be able to use it. Well, what, where's the fun in that? So... That's dry enough for me to turn the page. This is a very good time to use this as a bit of a slapdash <gasps> for colour. <laughs> and just put, put the colour down on something, whether I sketch something out or it's just a little bit of a abstract something, something. Oh, I still didn't show you my life drawing. I'll show it to you next time. And my spectrum pencil. Oh, so good. Um, what is this colour? And then I've used my ink up and um, I can be proud of myself all day long. <laughs> Shall we just because, because, because? Pop a little bit of the um, new guy in there, the Ahoy. And I'm just going to give a little squirty squirt of this guy. Squirty squirt. Let's do this. Little squirty squirt. See, this is like little figures dancing. And give them a little bit of water to dance in. Oh, I need a bit of filling here. So this is the... Um, other yellow. So we've got the two different uh, yellows happening in here. And have I got any other leftover colours I need to use up? I think I did. This is going to take us into greens. So I'm, I want to leave this as yellows. I'm going to steal some of this and just bring it over here. And then this will dry waterproof. Um, which is wonderful because yellow is one of those colours that's very staining. Because it's light though, it's, it's fairly easy to control. But, you know, it's one of those colours that can revisit and come bubbling up. But if, we, if it's in a waterproof uh, scenario, it's a little easier to work on top of. But a bit of, bit of yellow makes you feel good. So you can see the difference in the yellows there. This is much more golden, although that does have that bit of that other purple in there. 
And then when you use those to mix colours, you're going to get different colours depending on the yellow that you use. So there's, I oh know it's looking golden, but anyway, that is uh, where we're up to for today. That is our new colours, playing with each other and on standing on their own feet also. Um, oh, I don't want you coming over here. Thank you. And just a little comparison of the blues, because uh, we have the new blue in there. And I didn't swatch out all the pinks and purples, but you just have to trust me. They're all gorgeous. Okay, my friends. Well, thank you for joining me. I'll just have a quick little look for any questions that you may have that I might be able to help with. Everything I showed you is at janedovenport.com. Oh, look, I've got a little sign. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Yeah, the glass dip pens, if you've never tried one, I mean, seriously, you could use a stick from the garden. It's not going to be quite the same. But just to get the idea of it, um, but a glass dip pen is something else. If you've had a plastic version, again, it's like using a twig from the garden. It's sort of the same thing. It's not quite, though. Like a glass dip pen is just, it, it's a glass dip pen. A metal dip pen is going to be different as well. Um, yeah. They're just their own type of magic. Um, you just have to be very, very just aware of how you're treating that nib because it's glass. We don't want to break it. Um, you can still even use it, but it's just not going to work in quite the same way. Um, and that happens. So like all things, it's, the ink won't run out, but you might damage the nib eventually. But then you can just keep the gorgeous end as a decoration <laughs> okay my friends well thank you for joining me and um i hope you have just a lovely day go and do some art don't stay in this zone for too long try and and, and go into your zen <laughs> and let the woo, part of the day be a passing phase <laughs>